Okay, so we're going to do a little walk round of the 1594, which is the oldest tractor we have and uh, was brand new here in February 1985. Um, and it's made in Yorkshire at Town Meltham. The factory is now long since closed. Uh, so if we start with the engine, it's got a 5.4 litre uh, case engine. It's a David Brown engine. Uh, and made at the factory. The, um, I think they even had um, stuff for casting there, so I think the castings were all done there as well. Um, it would originally have been 95 horsepower, but um, I have subsequently turboed it because I, uh, which the next size up, a 1694, was turboed, and in theory, this is. I don't know, 110 horsepower. Um, I've never had it tested, but it certainly had more um, once I've done it. Um, it weighs with the cab was it, it weighs uh, four, just under four and a half tons. Um, so obviously, it's quite a light tractor. Um, uh, now at the back, the hydraulics they had about a three ton lift case later fitted um, a, uh, a sister ram which this didn't you couldn't get when we got this one but we did have another one of these which is gone and that came with an sister ram that added about 900 kilos lift um, but because I was lifting a lot of heavy stuff with this I got another one and modded it a bit and fitted one so it's got twin assister rams which is i doubt there's another one in the world got twin assister rams uh, it's got a big ram in in this uh, thing here and lifts off this rock shaft so uh, this should have getting on for a five ton lift not that i put five ton on it it was just really just to lower the stress of everything um and that's worked well i haven't had any problems with that at all since i uh modded it and fitted fitted it uh, it's four-wheel drive it's got a Carraro or Carrero front axle um, it was the later type of axle this was one of the like 19 I think the ones in 1984 had an earlier axle uh, so this was one of the first ones fitted with the type 709 I believe it is and I'm pretty sure that's the exact same front axle as uh, a Ford 7810 had on them, which was a tractor, a six cylinder, 100 horsepower tractor of the same era. Um, I think they used to call that the loader axle, but don't quote me on that. Um, okay, going inside, it's got. Uh, 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 Oh. So, this tractor had lower link sensing, which you could adjust the sensitivity of it here. You just move that forward and backward. Right forward is position, move it further back. It's uh, more sensing. And it, it works, it's a mechanical system working on springs at the bottom. It works fine, obviously. It gets looser as it, it's got older, but it, it, last time I did anything, it, it worked fine. Um, it's got three spool valves. It generally just came with the two, but I fitted a third because of a sprayer I had. Needed three, um, and there was a space for a third. So we've got a third. It's also got trailer brakes work with the foot pedal. Now this more, this one is a hydro shift. So you've got three ranges that you have to clutch with, and then you've got four power shift changes in each range so um you basically have so it's just like a semi power shift you have to start and stop using the clutch which is a conventional dry plate clutch but once you're rolling you've got four changes in each range again that works really well i have had a little bit of trouble with it but 
um, I have been able to take the tractor to bits. It's all mechanical. The instruction book for taking the bits isn't very big. And uh, if you're not too bad with spanners, it's entirely feasible to do so. Um, if I just jump out again, the seat, that is not the standard seat, uh, is a pretty crappy seat, as you can imagine, from the mid-80s. And uh, that one is a, I think it's a KAB air seat um, that I fitted uh, some years back and uh, is far more comfortable. Um, the lights on it were pretty typical for the era. Um, they're just halogens in there. It had no work lights at the front. They're ones I fitted. And at the back, it just had one work light on here. One plough light, they called it. I have got two fitted up there. Um, which means it's not so bad for the lighting, but a hell of a lot better than it would have been as a standard tractor. Uh, as I said on a video the other day, I fitted it with a um, a geared starter, which makes a hell of a difference for starting it. I couldn't recommend it highly enough for one of these. Um, it no longer, this was a, our frontline mainline tractor up till 10 years ago. Um, but now, uh, there's very little that she'd be able to work. Um, I have rolled with it with our big set of 10 metre rolls. It will just about pull them on something that's been ploughed. Uh, uh, sorry, something that's been drilled. But if you were going to pull it over plough or anything like that, forget it. Um, so she just does light duties now. Haymaking, um, flail mowing. But she does do pretty much all of the uh, spraying. On a final note, um, if Universal Hobbies ever managed to bring out a 1594, which they've been threatening to do for the last five or six years, it may be even longer, watch out for that number plate because they've been down here twice and measured this tractor up uh, and photographed it for their model. And... Uh, so uh, I've been waiting for it to come out so I can actually buy the model of this exact tractor, but um, as yet, it hasn't shown.